How's everybody doing today? Well, I just wanted to keep the story going. Remember, it's all a pack of lies. I've edited it so that nothing's true. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. When we last left off, I was in Padia and I had started bleeding out. So it's like, I don't know, seven, eight in the morning. I decided to check out of the hotel. I got to catch a cab back to Bangkok. Now, when I first... Well, now's when it gets interesting. I'm in Padia. It's 7.30 in the morning on a Thursday. And I've started bleeding out again. I'm going to check out of my hotel room, try to find... When I first came from Bangkok, one taxi cab, take you all the way right to Patty or drop you off the hotel. But if you're taking a beach cab back, the best you can really do is a ride to the airport. And then you've got to get out, go into the airport through the terminal to get to where the taxi cabs will take you from there to town. So that's what I did. Just a little shot here of Bangkok. At End up in the emergency room, walk right in. They start fucking with me. I made it back to the hospital. It's uh, 10 16, only took about two and a half hours from patio. And uh, they're looking me over, bleeding out the ass again. This shit just totally sucks. I'm stating that for the record, it sucks. And, uh, you know, good service right away. I'm hooked up, poking, prodding, but they can't see any blood, of course. It just keeps getting better. Yeah. But I had taken film of it, show it to him. My doctor shows up, says, oh, wow, this is, we're gonna have to figure this out. So they get him, the surgeon, and they go through the whole battery of tests with me again. And uh, let me tell you, the tests are harder on my body ow, than the actual operation. Though that's not true for this second operation. Uh, anyways, they figure out where I'm bleeding, and I go to surgery. <laughs> and now, it gets a little funny. Everybody who knows me is going to appreciate these next few moments of the story. I have my surgery... And I wake up, I'm in agony. It feels like somebody has literally electrocuted my ass. And the drugs they give me aren't working. Now, I'm crying and I'm screaming. I'm in so much pain. And there are people in other beds in this. I'm now in a four-person room and they've got family members. Well, some of these women are getting nurses to come back because I'm in such pain and they're distressed by it. Well, it takes them about six hours and four or five tries to find the right drug combination that knocks me down so that I can, you know, not be in agony. And uh, so, you know, now it's been about six hours from surgery and I can't pee. So I tell them, you know, I can't pee. They said, oh, well, after a spinal block, you know, sometimes it don't work right, takes a while. They give me a catheter. Great. But it's an in-out, done deal. They drain me. So I nod off for a little bit, and I wake up, and it's now been about 12 hours from surgery. I still can't pee. I'm trying, but I haven't been drinking much, and I can't pee. So I figure I'll just get another in-out catheter and then I'll be good till tomorrow after a big sleep, drink, and I'll be fine. So I press the buzzer, call the nurses, 
and uh, they're all stressed out that I still can't pee. Next thing you know, I'm getting cold packs, and the doctor's showing up. And he's saying that, you know, this ain't good, your body might be shutting down, different problems. We want to, he wants to put a catheter in me for about two or three days. I can't handle that. So I, you know, no, I can't do this. And uh, so he says to me, I'll give you eight hours. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to flip you to Bangkok because right after I had finally checked out of the hospital, I told this story in the mirror and I don't want to exaggerate it. But let me just say that I sound like a broken record. I can pee. I can pee. Okay, while it's fresh in my mind, I want to tell the story of after they did the surgery, I can't pee. And they give me a catheter. You know how much I love those. But it's a quick one. In, out, drain me. So, six hours later, I still can't pee. And so I figured, well, I'll just ask for another catheter. You know, they told me my body might be having problems. Well, they don't want to give it to me. Bring doctors in. He says, oh, well, if we do a catheter, we're going to have to put it in for a couple days. Now I'm shitting tomatoes because I don't want to be a couple of days with a catheter. And he says, well, you know, we'll give it some time. And he leaves. This little tiny nurse comes in. And she says, well, the doctor said you have eight hours. And if you cannot pee in eight hours, you get catheter. And I said, oh, okay, well, I'll go to sleep, wake up in the morning, and we'll try to pee again. She says, no, you only have one hour left. I says, what, one hour left? She says, yeah, it's from when they did first time. So I locked myself in the bathroom and I'm not coming out because I don't want a catheter. And finally, I pee about three friggin' drops. And I say, see, I can pee, I can pee. So painful, and I'm trying so hard, I shit out my bandage. Just bled it, popped it right out my ass. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell this woman not to give me a catheter as I'm standing there holding my dick because I don't want to let her anywhere near me. And so I locked myself back in the bathroom again. And here I am in the hospital, locked in a bathroom, hiding from this little nurse. Well, after about a half hour, she says, okay, I'll give you some more time. You don't have to pee, you know. And so I'm drinking and I pee maybe about a thimble full this time. And I'm going, I can pee, I can pee. And she's going, no, I want to give you catheter. And it's like, you ain't going to do this to me. <laughs> Back into the bathroom, lock the door. And uh, after about four hours of me being locked in the bathroom, I peed enough to make her happy. But uh, man, it was hard. A couple of things that weren't mentioned in the original story. I was only 12 hours from surgery when I'm doing this whole standoff at the bathroom door and I am really holding it shut because that little nurse and her other nurse friends they want it in and uh, I just just wouldn't take that catheter I guess just something I couldn't do and I also didn't mention that when we finally agreed that I peed enough and uh, I said listen I want to get back in the bed I need some pain meds you can fix my bandage I told her that if I woke up and found she had done me dirty, I was going to hop, pull it out and hop back into the bathroom. And uh, so she said no, she'd leave me alone. I can't believe I'm popping IVs and jumping into the bathroom after surgery because I don't want a catheter. Jesus. <laughs> and uh, so I finally get out of the hospital. And uh, they give me all kinds of drugs to take. 
I wanted to take a picture of these are all the drugs they gave me that I have to take two and three times a day and uh, that's just this morning swallow